Question 6 of this exercise says, take the data giving the minimum and maximum temperature of various cities given in the beginning of this chapter, table 3.1, plot a double bar graph using the data and answer the following. So there are four subparts in this question and we will discuss about them. So let's try to plot the double bar graph first of all, then we will discuss the subparts. So if we look into the temperatures that are given in the data, the minimum value is 21 degrees Celsius and the maximum value is 41 degrees Celsius. So we will take the scale as one unit equals to five degrees Celsius. So we will mark the temperatures on the y-axis 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 and 45. Now we will start making the drawing the bar graph for different cities. So we will start with the first city Ahmedabad and we know that the maximum temperature is 38 degrees Celsius. So it will lie between 35 and 40 and the minimum temperature that was given was 29 degrees Celsius. So it will lie between 25 and 30. Similarly, we will draw the bar graph for other cities as well. So this is how we will draw the bar graph for different cities for maximum and minimum temperature. The one in the blue is the graph for maximum temperature and the one in the yellow is the graph for minimum temperature. So as we can see that for Amritsar, it will lie between 35 and 40 as it is 37. Similarly, the minimum temperature will lie between 25 and 30 as it is 26 degree. So like that we will draw for Bangalore, Chennai, Jaipur, Jammu and Mumbai. Now let us discuss the four subparts of this question. Which city has the largest difference in the minimum and maximum temperature on a given date? Which is the hottest city and which is the coldest city? Name two cities where maximum temperature of one was less than the minimum temperature of other. Name the city which has the least difference between its minimum and maximum temperature. So let's find the difference between the maximum and minimum temperature of the cities. So this is how we will find the difference between the maximum and the minimum temperature. For Ahmedabad it will be 38 minus 29 which is 9. For Amritsar it will be 37 minus 26 which is 11. For Bangalore it will be 28 minus 21 which is 7. For Chennai it will be 36 minus 27 which is 9. For Delhi it will be 38 minus 28 which is 10. For Jaipur it will be 39 minus 29 which is 10. And for Jammu it will be 41 minus 26 which is same as 15. And for Mumbai it will be 32 minus 27 which is 5 degrees Celsius. Now the first part says which city has the largest difference. As we can see that Jammu has the largest difference which is 15 degrees Celsius. So that is Jammu. Now which city has the least difference? That is Mumbai. That is the fourth part. So Mumbai is having 5 degrees Celsius. That is the difference between the maximum and minimum temperature. Now in the second part we have to find which city is the hottest and which city is the coldest. For hottest we will find the biggest number in the maximum temperature. So if we look into that Jammu is having the biggest number in the maximum temperature. So that is the hottest city. Now we will find for coldest. For coldest we will look into the lowest number in the minimum temperature that is of Bangalore 21 degrees Celsius. So the hottest city is Jammu and coldest city is Bangalore. Now in the third part we have to find two cities where maximum temperature of one was less than the minimum temperature of the other. So if we look into the maximum temperature of Bangalore that is 28 degrees Celsius. Now if we look into the minimum temperature of Jaipur that is 29 degrees Celsius. So its minimum temperature is more than the maximum temperature of Bangalore. And also if we look into the minimum temperature of Ahmedabad it is also more than the maximum temperature of Bangalore. And the fourth part we already discussed the least differences in Mumbai which is 5 degrees Celsius. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.